carnivore and keto are two different diets. You've probably heard Dr. Courtney Hunt talk about this many times. There's a process called gluconeogenesis in which glucose is synthesized from amino acids. And you might know that amino acids are the building blocks of protein. So when your body takes in excess protein, breaks it down through digestion into amino acids, it provides the substrate from which new glucose can be synthesized and added to your bloodstream. Professor Stephen Cunane taught me that glucose is not just a fuel inside the brain, it is also a material feedstock for the production of GABA. The glucose sparing effect of the ketogenic diet I think is crucial because there are things that ketones can't do in the brain that glucose can do. And one of the things that ketones can't do that glucose can do is to make an important neurotransmitter called GABA. Ketones are a byproduct of fat metabolism, not protein metabolism. To enter ketosis, you must eat a diet that is not just low in carbohydrates, but also high enough in fat and low enough in protein that you switch your metabolism to fat burning and away from glucose.